Hi everybody, Scott Roberts here from Explore Scientific. A lot of people getting started in, in astronomy will buy a smaller telescope and then almost everybody wants to try making an image through, through their telescope. And the problem with that is, is that, um, you know, a lot of people will uh, start off with like their smartphone and they will hold, they will try to hold the smartphone in front of the eyepiece to get an image of, you know, they're seeing Saturn in the eyepiece or the moon. They want to get a picture, you know, who could blame them? But um, the problem is, is if you're holding the camera, you've got a lot of movement going on, okay? And there, so there are devices made and Explore Scientific offers one. This is called the smartphone camera adapter. And the way this works is you just take the rubber eye cup off, you slide this over the eyepiece. There's a little set screw here. There are suction cups here. And what you do is you match the lens over the center of the eyepiece. Okay, so you got your smartphone all set up and you wanna, you wanna get the lens centered right over the eyepiece itself. So the Explore Scientific smartphone camera adapter is nice because it just has suction cups here. It's going to really precisely hold it. Hand holding it is really difficult to do. This makes it easy. And then, and then what you're able to do is kind of move that around and then you focus it up so you're starting to see some detail. And you always want to, you know, when you're learning how to do this, start on the, in the daytime, you know, focus on something that's that's uh, across the street or something like that so you can get the feel of this. And then a lot of the cameras have, like if you press and hold, for example, you'll get an autofocus uh, AE lock, okay? That's on smartphones, for example. And now you don't have to worry about focus anymore and you're just worried about centering it up and then you can start to make your, you can shoot a video if you want. You see how I'm zooming in there, okay? we can shoot a video. Or you can shoot stills if you like. Video's cool because what we can do with video is we can frame grab video and use stacking software, which will actually improve the image. These telescopes, most of these telescopes that start on the introductory level don't have tracking. Okay, they may have an alt azimuth mount like these two do. This has just a point up and down, move side to side, that's called alt az. But there's also an equatorial mount. A lot of times on the beginning uh, level, equatorial mounts do not have tracking drives in it. And that's something that you're going to need to have. So a lot of our telescopes that we offer come off these mounts pretty easily. And then they can fit on an equatorial tracking mount. And this is our latest one that has computer control that you can control with your uh, tablet or a PC. And it's called the IXOS 100 equatorial tracking mount. And uh, so it's a, this is a great system to use because believe it or not, once you start uh, following an object in the eyepiece, if you don't have tracking, the object's gonna move out really quick. And this is going to make it very frustrating for you to make good images with your smartphone.